What's up ladies and gentlemen? Back today with another video. I've had some requests to do more content on firearms. So, here we are. First things first, let's do a safety check. Magazine's out, chamber is clear. As y'all remember this one, this is the one that I built last time. This is my Ruger Mark IV 2245 lights. I did the compensator, the sight, the charge ring, as well as a trigger on this. But today, we're gonna do another unboxing of another Ruger. We went out shooting, I took my buddy out with this. He absolutely loved it and had to have one of his own. So, we are gonna do an unboxing of his Ruger Mark IV that he got. Now, of course, he didn't get the gold like I did. He wanted to go different, which I personally think he picked a hell of a color. This is that blue. I don't know what the actual name of the color is, but this blue is amazing. I don't know if the video is going to do it justice, but this is a intense blue. Now, me personally, if I had this one right here, I would be like itching to throw some orange on here, you know, from Florida Gators. But... He got this and as well as he went out and he's also gonna upgrade it right off the back. And he has the Game Changer Compensator. I got the Game Changer Pro. This is the Pro Series Game Changer. He has the Game Changer. This is the Halo Charge Ring, the Romeo 5 Sight, as well as a Victor Trigger. So we're gonna go ahead and install all these into the gun today. And of course, we're gonna start off right off the back with the most easiest things to do which is the compensator, the charge ring. So as you guys remember, this just folds, screws right off. Throw that out of the way. And I would actually have to say, this game changer right here is actually pretty dope. It, it seems much longer than mine. It is, it's much longer than mine. I like that. And I think the blue and the silver is gonna look amazing together. So let's find that out. Just make sure you put that O-ring on first, line up the Tandem Cross logo on top, and yes, that silver and that blue looks amazing. As well as this bolt is actually uh, polished on the inside too, so you actually have silver that's gonna run throughout the whole thing. So let's go ahead and do that charge ring. And sometimes you gotta stretch these out a little bit, but that one went on pretty damn easy, much easier than mine did. So we're just gonna line it up. Put that through. This is just one of those firearms I feel like anybody that goes out and shoots it is going to want one. So my recommendation is if you don't wanna spend money on another gun, don't shoot this. Um, because if you do, you're most likely going to want one. And there's that charge ring. Let's drop that mag. Absolutely amazing. That is, that silver and that blue looks absolutely perfect together. And that makes it so much easier. So we're going to go ahead and put this Romeo side on. Now, I've already went ahead and put the small bracket on. Because you know the Romeo 5 comes with that huge massive bracket for the rifles. So that's already off. The small one's on. So let's go ahead and put this on. See what that looks like on here, which we kind of got an idea of already. All right. Definitely have it right over top of the bowl, a little bit closer to you. That's where I like it. I like to have it right there. Snug this down nice and tight. And of course, also, what I'm going to let him know is definitely going to want to lock tight a lot of your components on these firearms. It could have been just mine, but when I went out shooting with mine, I feel like anything that's held down with a screw vibrated loose. So I had to go through basically lock tight everything on my firearm to make sure that everything stayed down. Pretty sure he's going to have to do the same thing. But as of right now, that's tight. That's tight. And that is a dope looking gun. So right next to mine, that blue, that gold, 
Man, these things are sexy. They're just, they're just absolutely gorgeous guns, I think. And then on top of that, they're just absolutely amazing to shoot. So I am gonna go ahead and do the Victor trigger, flat face trigger. He did as well as ordered that. But again, I'm just gonna skip through this. I'm gonna go ahead and um, put that uh, victory trigger on, come back, show you guys the final product. There's plenty of videos online to do the installation on here. So you can go to Tam Cross themselves. They have videos on there how to do it. So again, I'm just gonna skip through, put it all together, give you that final product. So I'll be right back. All right, here it is. The victory trigger by Tam Cross is installed. It went in a lot easier. This is the second one that I've done. So I guess I got a little bit of experience on it now but it did, it went in a lot easier. And this is the final product. Now I will say that I would like to see this in the silver, but unfortunately Tandem Cross as of right now don't have it in silver and they don't know when they're gonna get it. And he's just like me. We have to have it now. We, we, we need the trigger right now. So he went ahead and ordered the black one, which it still looks absolutely amazing. Now later on down the road, he might get the silver, who knows? And then if he does, we'll install that one and then we'll give another shot out and see what, that, what you guys think about that. But, so here's mine, here's his, side by side, gold and black, blue and silver. I want y'all's opinion, which one do y'all prefer? You guys like this gold, you guys like this blue? Me personally, I like my gold, I like my gold, I like my gold, but this is, this is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take it to the gun range, we're gonna see how he likes it, shoot a hell of a round through both, both firearms, and Hopefully he likes it. Let's see. I got you, dude. Very nice. Very nice.